Hello there everyone and welcome to the start of a new campaign in the Thousand Week Reich in which we're playing as a French state. But we gotta talk about that their state of affairs. Uh, three republics, two empires, three monarchies, and who knows how many revolts and revolutions. And they say France's history has been tumultuous would be an understatement. But never in its history has France been as bad as the state is of now. The former heart of European culture is bankrupt, disarmed, and dismembered. It has become too much for the chief of state, Wagen. Change must be made, France is on the precipice and shall not fall. Rob, uh, meet with the Reich's... Vetrata, a temporary tax hike. Oh, huh. Agricultural reforms. We got rumors of resistance. More war sport wouldn't be too bad. Actually, we could really, really use that. Independent diplomatic ties. Uh, negotiate the terms. More stability would be very good as well. Uh, what do we want to prioritize? I want more stability. Ultimately, let's go with me with the Reichs Vetrata. Vetrata, I mean. It's that time again. Time for. Uh, for the chief to meet with the uh, Reich's Vetrater. In recent years, we've been successful in gaining certain concessions to the Reich lifted. Ending the German occupation of the North was a particularly difficult process to finalize, and even now German garrisons remain. Perhaps we can agree to more lenient terms. Hopefully, the Reich is willing to listen in reforming the government. A uh, product of the Second Armistice, the French state under Pétain was marked by extensive German cooperation, which is a policy hated by the limited faction. Under new leadership, Wagen has expressed his willingness to scale down the level of reliance on Germany with the ultimate goal being industrial independence and diplomatic neutrality with the Corps and the Reich. Independence is non-negotiable. Negotiate with terms. Negotiations with the Reich's Vetrat are always tense. Trying to strike the correct balance between continued collaboration with Germany and asserting our independence from them is not an easy task, but it must be done, one way or another. The Reich must free us from our chains eventually, right? Especially if they have political issues and that we have to deal with. So yeah, we're also training stuff. We have like four tank... Actually... We, oh god, there's... Oh, they're barely tank divisions. They look so good on the outside. But on the inside, they're kind of trash. The Reich's Veltreiter had been growing wary due to Wagen's push for a French independence, while his assumption is absolutely correct. The French government has maintained its facade of friendliness with the Reich to prevent intervention. During the meeting, our ministers have managed to smooth talk the way to gaining the Reich's Veltreiter's trust, buying us the tr precious time that we need, we may need, for any significant reforms. That's a, n a nice little talk, though, but <clears throat> temporary tax hike. To facilitate our coming reforms to get France back on its feet, we need additional funds. Some members of the government have suggested a temporary tax hike to ascertain these. Our population will not be happy about this, of course, but when does our population not have something to complain about these days anyways? We'll lose some weekly stability, but it's not for super long. Get quite a bit more output and better consumer goods, which is actually not terrible already, but at least help us build some more first. That'd be very good. Uh, what is this? Why is this a gray bar and there's a black bar up here? Death of Radis. Oh, I need to play this Greece sometime, too. Oh, I just thought of that. Just like, I don't think I've ever played this Greece in Thousand Week Reich. But there's a lot of paths in the Thousand Week Reich I've never actually done before, but we'll see. Oh, we're actually losing political power every day. That's not ideal. Um, I do like that. Industrial contractor is really good for more construction speed, but we'll see. Um, negotiate the terms. Getting more stability will help us get more political power, too. So we don't necessarily have to spend it immediately. So, and there are rumors of resistance. We'll see how far we go, though. Um, the new mosques. Independence protests in Algiers. Only a few days after the start of the Moroccan War, protesters have started to appear in Algiers in ever larger numbers. Hundreds, now thousands of locals have begun gathering in the capital, demanding an independent and sovereign Algeria. Tensions keep rising with the understaffed and unequipped garrison being pushed to the limit. We'll have to wait and see how things turn out. When one domino falls, others are sure to follow suit. Agricultural reforms, though. The only wealth you possess is your labor. France will become again what she should have never ceased to be, an essentially agricultural nation. The late Philippe Pétain said of our sovereign state, Since the earliest days of the Vichy government, Germany has demanded an extortionate amount of agricultural goods from us. Food shortage has become an average part of life for most things now. The system needs immediate reform. We don't know how much our propulsion could take. The Algerian War of Independence, huh? Let's start the Moroccan War for Independence. The people of Algeria began to show signs of unrest as armed conflict began to spill over the border, with French colonial rule having been faltered deeply since the state of France was turned into a Nazi puppet state. Algeria and many other French colonies were barely held under control through the use of terrible violence and oppression. Yay! But the rise of the Moroccans, a domino effect of anti-colonialism in the North African continent, or part of the continent, has begun. A few days after the Moroccans took up arms, mass protests broke out in Algiers, with Algerians under the guidance of the Front de Liberation Nationale demanding Algerian independence and the exit of French forces from Algeria and Algiers. The protests were met with gunfire for the French Algiers garrison, igniting the flame of violent uprising which pro with protesters arming themselves and attacking colonial authorities in response. 
and many seas and towns. Militia formed waving the flag of Algeria, ready to fight against the colonial overlords, but the French colonists responded to this by arming themselves with the stockpiles of the garrisons in Oran. Siding with Oran and the Algiers garrison, the French Delta Force militia declared that Algeria remained French, and the South, the Saharan tribes, left with little to no supervision by the French, united into the Saharan Council. Declared a charge from the conflict, lacking military forces, resources, and motive to get into the war that might cost them the glimpse of independence they have gained. Fight against the French colonists, gain freedom. And we must make sure it remains that way. <clears throat> oh boy. Okay, so now they're actually going to kill each other off. Interesting. Hmm. I guess we like you. What, what, what type of ideology are we? Oh, we're just GF. Yeah. To autocrats. And arena faction. Do we have anything here? So for us, all on free state is not bad. We can intervene. We need more world tension. We need 30 divisions. Crap, that's not good. Uh, is there anything we can do about this? Assist. Oh, right. Oh, there we go. We can give them guns. So, peace. Oh, we'll go straight to war with them. Or on free state. French state. Huh. Well, I guess we'll give them guns. German coup in Norway. Back in control. Alright. Oh. Barbary People's Democratic Republic of Algeria, eh? Well, that's three ways of war. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, cultural reforms would be good to do, too, though. So what can we do about this? Not really much. Feed the machine's nice. If I can give you more guns, that'd be great. Democrats in West Africa? Oh, wait. What happened to French authority here? Oh, are you a puppet? Uh, oh. Oh, okay. So we'll see. We gave them guns, they really helped them out, it appears to be. A lot of manpower, a lot of manpower, a lot of manpower. 1 to 5 divisions, 2 to 13, 1 to 7. Edmond Joha. Nice. Um, and the empty coppers funded army. Alright. All out offensive. Oh, more attack. And then you guys have French exiles. Okay, well. I guess there's really not much we can do about that. We just watch them all die and kill each other off, which is fine with us. A bunch of Africans. Agricultural reforms, why not? And also, at the time of this recording, I don't know which way we're going to go. You can tell by the thumbnail, probably, and the title, but still. And the general strike hand handling the laborers. Well, let's do his rumors of resistance. Since the earliest days of the occupation, the resistance started cropping up left, right, and center. Over the years, in cooperation with the German allies, we've extinguished these terrorists. But rumors persist of mid midnight meetings, scuffled, scuffling in the sewers, and the odd shot in the night. Best to keep these quiet, or the Germans will never leave. Post war production lines, very nice. Very good. Yeah, there's really not much we can do about this right here. We can't even. Yeah. Dude's been reelected. Actually, does India have a unique focus tree? Republic of India. No, they do not. Oh, actually, never mind. They kind of do, actually. Oh, yeah, they kind of do. Not sure how much they really can do, but yeah, they kind of do. It's kind of cool. Sort of do. I want Oran to win. Uh, my gosh, my. We're sitting you guns, I guess. But we, have, we literally don't have anything. Anti-tank and artillery? You want some of that stuff? Here. Take a hundred. We don't have a hundred. You can have it anyways. You can have 35 cannons. Let's see what you can do with that. <clears throat> Malayan emergency. Nice. Alright. And then... Rumors of resistance. Also, here are the National Spirits, the second armistice, which is really bad. And cop and government, which is really bad. We have war reparations. Oh, expected to pay by when? Late 2000s? Divided military. Temporary tax hike, of course. And the agricultural forms, which is not bad for now. Oh, well, there goes uh, those guys. You guys are doing quite well, actually. Country wide improvements, nice. Come back over and grab some decryption, encryption, all that good stuff. Nice. Recruitment drive. As restrictions on our nation are slowly lifted, a new recruitment drive can be enacted. Our army is barely big enough to control our unruly population, let alone fight a war. I expect most wouldn't be surprised if Spain could defeat our army. Is y'all can smack about the Spanish now? <clears throat> From the officer corps, we get to do as well. If anyone can be blamed for the defeat of 1940, our officer corps is at the top of the list. Gamelon, the old fool didn't even have a radio in his HQ. Men like him still remain in our high command. These men must be sidelined, of course. The chief did his best in 1940 to save our nation. He's blameless in the defeat. 
A group has haunted France for decades. The resistance is reported to be large in its structure numbers. Secret reports indicate that the French government has been infested by resistance elements, and they have formed a sort of underground state, ready to strike and instigate a revolt at France's weakest moment. To combat this situation, we've started a new wave of operations in an attempt to break down the resistance, including a purge of military staff. Those thugs will be eliminated. Hey, we're not losing political power anymore. Not bad. Uh, so, counter communism, Arab social democracy, and fascism, Moose? Alright, whatever. Form the Officer Corps. Yes, please. I would like to do that. And the death of Mr. Schmittler up there, too. So, keep building them civvies. Y'all doing okay. And the Council of Sahara. And y'all just kind of hanging out. Does he have a description? Oh, he does. If you want to read about him, please go right ahead. But boom. Ba boom. Oh wow, they're almost out of manpower here. Up here, oh, they got plenty. They got an okay amount. Nice. Announces the right to war. All right. Well, good luck with that, Japan. All right, recruitment drive. Yeah, these guys don't seem too bad. Oh, they're still expanding though. If they could take out Algiers, that'd be really good. Reform them core. Restart the factories would be really good. The general strike, economic reforms would be good. French nationalism looks pretty good as well. Corridor line. Reduce German influence. French African Confederation, huh? Nice orange color. Alright, what's next? <clears throat> Limited rearmament. Once again, the French army grows slowly and under the hawkish observers of the Reich, but growing nonetheless. Just as the Germans did, we'll rise from the ashes like a phoenix with the army leading the way forward. Montreal Massacre? How non Canadian of them, huh? Louis St. Oh, does Canada have a neat focus tree? I've never played as Canada. Hey, I'll play as Canada sometime. Let me play more Thousand Week Reich. We'll see. You guys done training yet? No? Okay. This is getting really kind of dicey for these guys. Yeah, that's not bad that you took all Jeers, but you could easily be encircled in one of two locations here. Lukov remains in power, huh? Alright, whatever. And that's kind of sad, but whatever. What are the casualties like? I wish you can get involved. Uh, oh, that's not bad. Oh, wow, they lost 9,000? Wow. They have only two to five divisions, which is... Oh, I knew they'd get encircled. I knew it. I knew it. Yeah, they're probably going to die. Unless they can bust out. I mean, they're pretty much screwed. So we'll see what happens. Performing the officer corps. After heavy restrictions imposed by the Germans on the military, the officer corps has been long neglected. Now that France's newfound independence, the military has been considering the possibility of staffing the officer corps with new talented officers from the populace. However, due to the fact that the RF, RFL elements have been slipping into many factors of the state, new officers might indicate increased RFL influence on the nation's military. Loyalty first. Ooh, that'd be really good to do. Talented officers. We lose a lot of army XP. Oh, we lose all of our army XP then already. Mmm, I like the stability. Ooh, eh, do that one. Domestic designs. We're gonna rush down this side of the tree first. Restart the factories, because I don't want to get the general strike. Strikes don't sound like fun. Like all things in France these days, our army's equipment is incredibly outdated. Most of it was designed in the 30s. While most nations of Europe continue to expand and develop their military technology, we're still, we're still where we were after the second Compagnier. Changes are unavoidable. We must strike new contracts with the finest military engineers in France. Cooper, well, he's still not dead yet, but... I mean, you guys probably want to go here or here. That, that'd just be me, at least. Tekkenich? Oh. Oh, wow. This is a giant mess down here. <clears throat> Korea's one nation. Oh. Vietnam's killing itself, as it should. And they're still the same. Well, we'll see what happens. Oh, West Endo. Oh. Do you have unique focus tree? No. Algeria. N definitely. Oh, well, they have the Algerian war, but that's not really super unique. That's all done, too. Artillery. Thank you. Guns. Yes, please. What was this one? The new Moss. 
Only to the limitation placed on our forces after the humiliation of 1940, some within our army have turned to more radical experimental military ideas. Italia Moto Scafo Armato Silerante Armas was an extremely effective force for Italy in the last war. Comprising small elite units, it's perfect for us to develop amongst the limitations of our forces, which will strive to copy and improve upon the Italians' ideas. Oh, they died. That sucks for you, bro. So we don't want to overextend yourself too much. Two to four divisions. Oh, we actually see what they have. Seven to ten militia. That's quite a bit. Yeah. Oh, no. I wish you could send him more stuff. Um, anything else? You want 46 of these things? We don't have, we can't make anything anyways, but like... Here, take 43 of these. That might help out. New Moss? We'll see what happens. They're probably going to lose in the end, but... Independent diplomatic ties. France's foreign office had very little to do in recent years, with almost all of our decisions being made by the Rock. Foreign relations are limited to those who are associated with the pact. And some of them, the Toronto courts, do not even recognize the government as legitimate. Perhaps we make some approach to the Toronto courts, see if arrangements can be reached. Or else the resolution does fail. Oh, and you're going to get circled again. Wow, that sucks. Can we go to war with them if they defeat these guys? Like, I don't like that we can't do anything about this. I really don't like this. If they're, like, very closely aligned to us, we should be able to do something. Should, at least. In theory. But if not, whatever. It is what it is. Restart the factories. Due to our economic spiral down to collapse again and again, many factories have been pulled out of business. Mass unemployment followed, and crime skyrocketed, with the economy slowly stabilizing, mostly. It's time to get these workers back to doing that. Working. Yeah, they're still looking okay. Just don't get yourself extended, man. Do these guys have any equipment at all? I can't imagine they would have anything at this point. They still have some equipment left. You guys have nothing. They're literally fighting with sticks and stones. Bot literally just bodies. <coughs> Excuse them all. We're starting the factory nose and we'll get a general strike, of course. And on the laborers. Why is it our population love to strike? Since the days of the Industrial Revolution, worker unions have been enacted strike after strike after strike. If the factories are to start up again, we must bring the unions to the table. The compromise with the rock allowed to survive, and the compromise with the unions may allow us to grow once more. Sounds like a good idea. If that embodies, it's good enough for them, so. But it's already January 53. Wow, that's actually pretty fast. That's actually pretty nice, actually. Southeast Asia, of course. What's America up to? Dude, they're going to elect somebody new, right? Harry Truman's still here, huh? Mexico's Marxist Leninists. Vincent Lombardo Toledano. And you guys, led by Clement Attlee. Social Democrat. Oh, well, that sucks. Everything we did to help them out, they, they sucked. The general strike. Reacting to the government's recent industrial policies, workers have shown their dissatisfaction in the form of a general strike. These workers are now refusing to work in the factories, and our police <clears throat> forces have responded to these situations. Thankfully, these strikes have yet to turn violent, but this has been greatly damaging to our production output. We have to handle this. I'm not touching that. Are you flipping kidding me? God dang. Why'd I do, why, why, why am I playing this France? God dang Frenchies. French Renos. Handle them laborers. Economic reforms. Construction speed's pretty good. But I like this one too. Uh, getting more warspoor would be an extra command power. Let's go get this one first. Our defeat in 1940 was nothing short of a catastrophe. Or catastrophic. Our once grand empire is a shadow of its former self, carved up both by the Iraq and the ancient enemy, Britain. Criminals roam the streets nearly freely, and corruption's rife. We were proud people once, so we must be again. Le Chief and his words must be plastered on every wall, and all should adhere to travail, family, and patrie. As I'm having some water, too. It's very nice. Well, oh, that was for nothing, then. We literally can't make anything. It's so... Oh, I, I hate strikes so badly. Unless unless it's striking for me. But still. I would love it if the Barbarian People's Democratic Republic of Algeria could win, but I guess not. I love this, too. Arab Federal Republics. The more countries that unify, the more I love it. Greater Syrian state should merge. Should become one. Oh, sometimes the Greek Civil War just lasts forever. And then what? Corridor line, reduced German influence, southern development. I'll oh, probably do that. Handling the strikers. Currently, these strikers have refused to work for a number of days. In these several days, France says work has been halted completely. The Reichs have tried to summon members of our government, declaring that the strike must be put down as possible, as soon as possible, to prevent prolonged unrest. However, moderate members of the cabinet are advocating for open dialogue with the workers and this incident in a peaceful manner. Put them down. Negotiate with them. Negotiations sound like the right thing to do, but put them down. Put them down like the dogs they are. Okay, early mobilization, why not? Economic reforms. 
stagnation, inflation, or recession. In these last few years, these have been all you would see when analyzing a broken economy. At the turn of the decade, the first sign of economic recovery appeared, and the last genuine reform could take place. Oh, wait, Hitler's dead? Oh! Unrelated celebration. Our place of security serves to report some rather odd reports, but barely an hour ago, following the news of Hitler's death, the streets were flow with crowds. Many are drinking wine by the gallon, while others embrace with tears in their eyes. We've been best make sure that Pierre Bonny and his car league, as well as our German handlers, are aware of this completely separate to uh, the news of Fear's death. Tell the papers to print something anything worthy of celebration now. Oh, crap. So we can't do any of this stuff. Uh... The French uh, celebration. A cocktail party held in the chief residency. The elites of France gathered in the chamber, officially celebrating the longevity of the French state. But in the hearts, they knew they were rejoicing due to them, due to Hitler's death. Amongst the guests, Chief Wagons one of them. Near the end of a social event, Wagon made his closing speech, make, speaking hopeful words for future France. But at the end, just when everyone in the chamber was cheering for the chief, a lone gunman rushed out of the crowd as Luger and fired at the chief. Dodges to death, and the guy is arrested. The chief is dead. Chaos awaits. Death of Wagon. Chaos in the capital. Dorial order restored. Chief resigns. The revolution begins. Death of Wagon order restored. A new, huh? Uh. Do, 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 do. Right, I'm gonna put this here. I'm not, I'm not, I don't know which one I'm gonna choose. Let's go with that one. Okay, the chief is dead. <laughs> I don't know. We'll just use one of them. I haven't betrayed any use at all, even though our divisions. They're pretty trash, not gonna lie. These guys are pretty trash. Let's go with like two, maybe. Oh no, Paris riots. Shortly after Wagon's death, the capital is now engulfed by turmoil. Thousands of rioters are destroying stores and burning barricades with the police resources. Stretching thinner and thinner, the law and order within Paris has been greatly reduced, and emergency services are now paralyzed. Darn rioters. The news of uh, Le Chief's death has pr spread quickly. The government buildings of the capital are reporting masses of people outside, chanting slogans from every political angle possible. Army stores have been raided, and violent clashes erupted in the streets of Paris. No one knows what's going on, but who's in charge? The riots spread. Out of days of anarchy within the nation's capital, the disorder spread across France. Major population centers are now packed with rioters going against the French state. The military has been ordered to suppress these riots and restore order in the urban areas of France, but fear of a riot turning into a revolt remains strong. Put them down. Order restored. Uh, well, you know what? I, I kind of want to go with that one door right now at this point, so we'll see. Hey, this is out of control. Why don't we put him down? Put him down. Oh, Cambodian liberals, who cares? There goes Hitler. March on Paris. Jacques Doriot, as a prominent fascist politician on the French state, gathered his supporters in front of a hotel, announcing that Chief Wagon is assassinated by the communist rebels of the RFL before marching towards the government quarters in Paris. Doriot and his group marched until they were stopped by a line of police officers, starting an intense air stand up between the two sides. Sock him down. Restore order. And. Order restored. There's French stuff there. I wish we could. I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't go this way. Because this, getting this up would be really good. That would have been very strong to get for us. Much stronger for us. Order is stored. Talk them down. Uh. Oh, so you choose either this one or change that one. Break the resistance. Purge the fascists. Carrying the stick. Uh. I'll do that one right now. My fellow Frenchmen, order has been restored. The new France must pay in blood if it's emerged victorious in the coming struggle to survive national pride. Fight Frenchmen. Find the remaining Bolsheviks and Catholic rebels. Drag them from their homes and lynch them in the streets. Fight, 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 fight. Well then. Um, what was this one? With Wagon's body still warm, the PPF's military guard for, uh, forces surround Jacques Doriot at the entrance of the Elysee Palace uh, alongside Admiral Francois Darlan. No one knows what will happen to France, but in view of recent events, Doriot does allow hope before a red dictatorship takes control of France. La mise à pas. I, I, I don't know how to speak French at all. The French term for the German Gleichaltung under our new uh, state, our popular state, every citizen, politician, and soldier must work as one, unendingly towards the glory and prosperity of everyone as one. We shall end the factious bickering and sabotage by German lapdogs at once. Liberat toi France. This is a stroke day for France. The leader of the French Popular Party, Jacques Doria, has been called by the new president, Admiral Francois Darlan, to form a new government for the first time since the end of the Third Republic. It's a reversal of fortune for the former Communist Youth Secretary, with whom foreign press dubbed the French Fuhrer for a switch to out of fascist collaborationism. Waiting for such an opportunity since 1940, Doria's plan to save the fracturing France is a decade in the making. In tandem with Darlan, who will take the head of the state. Doria intends to drastically reform France in order to restore it with its rightful glory and finally exercise its demons from within. Former Marshal's right hand, now serving the Admiral, seen all by all good Frenchmen as a man for the job. Look, French Elder. Destroy the military clan. 
Take control of the Millies. Incorporate the Technocrats and Purge the Ultras. Destroy the military clan first. Wagon's bootlickers, unfortunately, do not disperse like the rats they are upon his death, with the military clan is not loyal to Monsieur Patton, still holding gross influence of France. We will have to wipe them out once and for all. Who needed political power? Now we're just straight up fascists. Look how oh, oh, that happened. I didn't do it. Slavic revolts. That's fine. No one cares a crap about the Slavic revolts right now. No stability. No war sport. Did not need. Oh, hello. Where are you guys going through? Hello. Dora clears the Misé au Pass. Uh, France has always had enemies who seek to destroy. These forts are easily seen. The Jews, Freemasons, and Commies. Lash Patan is a national revolution to try to expel them from the French nation, but he not gone far enough. Anti-French forces have succeeded in infiltrating Vichy, as a journalist Claude Jeannette said. Vichy is teeming with Jews and Masons, except that <clears throat> we are now in power. And as the Germans did with the Glass Shell we shall do with our Misé au Pass. Things are finally moving. Hey, political power. Take control of the Middle East. The French militia is almost is the most important apparatus in the French state. It's a veritable paramilitary army built on the model of the German SA and is the sword of, uh, of the, our national revolution, the model of the German SA, the sword of the national revolution, which all of its essential, although the PPF has its own paramilitary force, serve as d'ordre. Many of the SO are in the militia, and the ideological connections between the militia and the PPF are numerous. For the future of France, the militia must remain loyal. The militia for the future of the new France by Doriot must be his most loyal device. And the world's falling apart once Germany kills itself, so. It hasn't quite killed itself yet, but. In the Far East, they've definitely started killing themselves. Oh, you know, we used to be demilitarized. Now we passed it on over to these guys. Nice. No political power, but you know what else is new? We're French. Actually, we're losing political power. God dang it. Albanian Revolution. Very nice. You can almost get a whole land doctrine. A whole one doctrine. I hate it. I hate getting that, uh... Oh, do we not have strikers anymore? Oh. Land doctrine research speed. Well, that's completely useless. What do you mean research speed? We just buy it. Oh, and it's Cotton Boon, which I've not played it yet, I think, yet. The rest of No Guy and his partisans. Charles No Guy, General of the Army, with experience in Morocco, was loyal to the Marshal Patton and General Wagon, especially for his total ideological submission to the National Revolution, was perceived as the protege of Wagon. He was formed in Paris around the former head of state, a clan made up of largely officers, nicknamed the Military Clan. With the takeover of the PPF by Doriot, No Guy is now a danger of addition, in addition to being totally useless, because the whole of the French Army is loyal to the government and to Doriot. Eliminating this clan will allow us to reshuffle the military, silence some officers, and strategically replace our men to ensure full control of the PPF or the military. The army will be cleaned. Nice. A move divided. Oh, that's awesome. And cooperate the technocrats. The technocrats will have to stabilize their party with their bickering ultimately of no both noble intentions and goals, such as they still have a place for their, in our chief's new France. What is that to jail around them? Who is ultimately in charge now? Jacques Doria meets with Joseph Darnand and the militia chiefs at 7 a.m. today. In the Chateau de Chambord, Doria, accompanied by the head of the state Admiral Darnand, met with the General Secretary of the Militia, Joseph Darnand, his staff, and all other departmental heads. Darnand and Doria knew each other well. Since the current militia leader was born between 36 and 38, a member of the PPF, which he had left to join the cow. During his day, Jacques Doria made a two hour speech of praise of the French militia, its leader in his. Uh, in its speech, Doria called for a deepening ties between the new powers. The main points having already been discussed between the general staff of the militia and the directory of the PPF. Doria listed them before officials of the mili militia were not informed. As the day progressed, the meeting became a rally of Doria after, rising at the, after arriving at the points which stipulate the automatic adhesion of all militiamen old and new to the PPF. The chief finds a speech by Doria to salute, and Darnan gets up to return it, accompanied by a second leader by the rest of his officials. Here's Doria's militia. Nice. Uh, new police oath? Chief Doriot is not just the new head of state, but it shall be for the foreseeable future the very heart of the nation, while some martial acts as his mighty soul. We shall instill a new generation of the police with this noble butter belief by making them swear an oath not just to the French popular state, but also personally to the Marshal Patton and Chief Doriot. Is it chief or chef? I don't know if he's a chef. And also, Germany's uh, not killing itself, which is nice. Um, other than that, uh, they're still fighting here in Greece as well. And Perm is, well, they're fighting a lot of things at once, so. Not bad. Everyone's killing each other and hopefully going to reduce the lag by killing each other, which would be great. Who do we have here? Jean Charles Romotet. Not bad. We have uh, Jean Marie Charles Abrial. We also have Alphonse Juin, which is not bad. And Charles No Guy. And like I said earlier, it'd be really nice if these guys kill each other off, but Trifton Coup fails, huh? Alright, oh, cool. Go, 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 and do well, Syrian State boys. Go do well. Schutzstaffel, uh, Emergency Wehrstadt, Kaltenbrunner, normal stuff, a uh, slight German civil war. And India's killing someone too. <clears throat> Vargas takes his own life, huh? 
Aren't we all? Anyways, let's go do that too. As we're still building up, we're using only nine civvies. Oh, Algeria. Very sad. And I don't think there's anything else that we can't do about that, but whatever. Republic of Canada. Is Canada's a republic? Oh. MJ Coldwell. Huh, there's a lot of social support here. Okay. Um, okay, well, whatever. CCF, huh? Socialist Party. Wow, what did you guys do? Lingering military office. Okay, that one just left. Okay. United Nations Council. Canadian Economic Growth. But Dora gives speech to the Ecole Normale Superior. On the advice of uh, former Normalian and very influential statement, Pierre Pouchou, Jacques Doria gave a speech at the Ecole Normale Supérieure, the very prestigious French public higher education establishment from which the present administrators of the French state emerged. It is here, Doria said in a speech, that the new elite shall come out of our new France, promising that all the students of his school will be leaders of the popular state which is emerging and merits will be rewarded. By making this speech, Jacques Doria enlists the support of a group of very influential people who are interested in his premises of the advent of a new modern state, Doria, the first administrator. Purge of the Ultras. The Ultras cling too much, too. The foreign and heinous ideas of the Germans, their inability to compromise and work towards this new era of French greatness, makes them unfortunately a liability. As such, we must make them understand that they have no place anymore in the halls of power, either by word or by a barrel of a gun. Nice. Very nice. Anything else here? Not really. Not too much, sir. Just just don't look further east. Because it's, it's a mess. It's just... My gosh, is it... A mess. We're still losing political power too, which sucks. Eh, let's even make stuff now. We need some medium tanks, but that's alright. Uh, transitional. Trans trans transitional. I guess I actually need, need focus tree. Uh, sort of ish. Prague Uprising. Oh. <coughs> well, good luck with that, guys. Good luck with that. Jacques Dorio. Militia loyal to Doriath. That's very good. Swiss Revolution. Oh, Swiss piss off too, huh? Very nice, very nice. Let Heinrich deal with that. And we only have 38% fascist uh, party uh, support. Everything in the party, huh? 35 day focus, but sw police were new old. The National Police Force, one of the jewels of the Marshall's Revolution, centralizing, coordinating a police force that wa was, too, was too decentralized into the Republic. This police force is one of the foundations of the French state, and its effectiveness is only equalized or equaled by, or in part, oh, hold on, uh, by his loyalty. Doria knows that the police are with him and to remind him of their duty to him. The chief designed the new oath. As in 42, a new official ceremony took place for the police, during which 3,000 delegates from the Paris Guard, the National Police, and the police HQ met in the Great Hall of Palais de Chalot under the presidency of Jean Bassompierre. New Minister of the Interior. After the band plays, all is taken in these terms. I swear loyalty to the head of the state and everything he commands in the interest of the service, public order, and for the good of the fatherland. I swear loyalty to the person of the chief Jacques, Jacques Doriot in the interest of the new social order and the salvation of the French people's state and, the, and of the national and social revolution. To, all which, uh, to which all the police officers present respond by raising arms and saying, I swear, Viva Darlon, Viva Doriot, Viva Basson Pierre. Hey, so we didn't put a bomb. Everything in the party. Well, we got more stability? Not really. Well, the two largest factions taken care of, we can finally unite the party under supervision. We just have to sway the independents, either like the technocrats or the ultras, and we can truly march towards the future of a bright and strong France as one. Still lose a lot of political power. God, I want to get rid of the incompetent government. It sucks so much. Ooh, Himmler's not having a good time. And National and Popular Revolution? Yeah. Chief Notre. Okay, cool. No guys assumes office, so... I don't know how long this focus is going to last. We'll see. It doesn't seem that long. Going down here would have been maybe better, but maybe we'll split this into two parts. Let's at least get through National Popular Revolution at least first. After that, we'll see what happens. I don't know. Yeah, I think Cotton Brun is probably going to be winning this one. I could be wrong, but you never know. You never know. Kingdom of Montenegro already founded. Nice. Today at 6 p.m., the head of the government, Jacques Doriot, and the head of the National Popular Rally, head of the National Revolutionary Front, Marcel Dayot, met in the parties in the restaurant. The two men know each other and hate each other. During the occupation and the war, the two figures competed for the post of the leaders of the Ultras. The name given to partisan supporters of the German National Socialists and the model and of the anti-Soviet war. After the conflict, Doriot 
moved away from this group to take a more Germano skeptic position, but now Doriot is in power and they ought to expect a place in the government. A discussion took place beyond closed doors, and nobody knows how the discussion went, but at the end of the events, Dayot came out looking annoyed when suddenly, while he was preparing to return to his hotel, an unidentified man fired five shots at him. Dayot nearly died, he did die the next day at the Hotel Dio Hospital. A rest of figures from the RMP and the FINR were launched across France. Hmm, the meeting must have gone wrong. Oh. But a national popular revolution. France is beaten, bloody, reduced to but an extension of the Reich. Few would think of the glory of our past empires looking at us now. Chief Doriot is committed to changing that, however. Like a phoenix from the ashes, we shall rise and eclipse all of Europe. Even the Reich, with our brilliance. Soon the name France shall, be, shall inspire fear and respect once more in the single party system. Nothing like a single party, because we all love parties here. Oh, him was removed. Oh, that's yeah, done. One of the flagship features of the Musée Al Paz is complete. Adapting Mussolini's maxim, everything in the party, nothing outside the party, nothing against the party. It is now prohibited to form a political party. Any association must be in direct link with the French People's Party, and the French People's Party is now the only legal party in the following terms. The French Popular Party launched at 36. To bring together all the French people must now do so, going in the direction of the indivisibility of the French nation. As people are now indivisible and embodied by the French People's Party, and the party of all French people. Associations in the model of the organ of the German NSDAP will be formed around the PNF, or PPF. Dora, who wanted to be the French Führer, signs one of the political actions which will be remain longing, or which will remain long in the history of France. Ford Saint Denis, the PPF, will win. MG ones. It really doesn't seem like we're going to be that far in this campaign, but we'll see. After this one, yeah, we'll read one more. Why not? The Great Strategic State. We can more political power. I like that one. The Great Strategic State. For a state to be successful in the modern world, it must act and think strategically. Like an officer in the field, nothing is above him in every aspect of society, society economics, military, and security, and so forth must be planned strategic, strategically in advance. This is the last great act of the Mise à la a country of France, is a country of the revolutions, after the Great Revolution of 1789. After the Revolution of 48, of, of the Communards in 71, or 1871, and the National Revolution of 1940, or Chief Doriot launches a National Social Popular Revolution. In a riveting speech of four hours, Jacques Doriot explains why all the revolutions failed, because they separated the social and national question instead of merging them and fusing them with a popular character. Now France will change, and at the same time regain its deep historical roots. The Marshal's work is now magnified by the Revolution of Chief Doriot, and soon France will find its laurels. Prepare so France, Doriot is here. Ah, maybe we'll do a few more. Well, there's more political power. Wait. Legitimacy gain. What? What? Well, get more population, which is nice. Cult. Um, Count's trouble still causing. We'll make sure they won't bother us ever again. Cross the terrorists. Negotiate with the RF. Oh. Uh, yeah. The RF will inspire air of differences ideologically wise. We can be. Uh, can be unlike the specter of Bolshevism still be reasoned with, and more importantly, can be of use. To crush Red Mass truly once and for all, should negotiate compromise mutually beneficial at all. But I think we're going to end it there. I'm going to spend some time doing those focuses off screen. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we see what else we're going to do with this here French state led by Jacques Dorian. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.